this is a song about ice cream headache, that vein of kids, the whole world round, to explain the physiology, and elucidate pathology, that can take your smile and turn it upside down. Cause when you eat your ice cream really fast, it starts to make your head hurt. No, it doesn't really matter if you bite it, spoon it, or slurp. The pain your body's way to say that your mouth is really cold. You know your mom, she tried to warn you that you didn't do what you were told. Well, the ice cream goes in, and that's for me to bolus. It hits the soft palate, and cools it way down. There the blood vessels shrink, to minimize heat loss. But then you swallow, and turn things all around. All the blood vessels sense that it's getting warm again, and they start to open back up. In fact, they open up so far, they sometimes leak a little blood out. And the nerves around them sense the swelling and thrombocytic serotonin. And they fire off a message that your face will soon be frozen. The signal goes up through the sphenopalatine ganglion. That's where this headache gets its Latin name. It was probably coined by six sadomasochists who got his jollies from 11 syllable words like sphenopalatine ganglioneralgia. And when the nerve impulse gets to the brain, it starts to get all confused because the signals get mixed up. When the trigeminal nerves fuse, all that info goes together to the spinal trigeminal nucleus. The center in the lower brain that conveys facial pain to us. So because the brain isn't used to getting messages from the roof of your mouth, it interprets the pain as something more familiar, like a headache, but really super cold. That's why when you eat your ice cream really fast, it starts to make your head hurt. No, it doesn't really matter if you bite it, spoon it, or slurp. The pain your body's way to say that your mouth is really cold. You know your mom, she tried to warn you, too bad you didn't do what you were told.